Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For today's video, ang topic natin is all about the infinite limits. Okay, so first, define muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng infinite limits. So, the function values decreases or increases without bounds as the independent variable x gets closer and closer to a certain fixed number. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung function values daw natin guys is nagde-decrease or nag increase without bounds. Pag sinabi natin without bounds, so that para siyang ano, uh, limitless, tama? Or walang boundary, or walang limitasyon, or walang ending. Okay? So, kung yung function values natin is patuloy na nagde-decrease, so that means na yung ating um, value is papunta kay negative infinity. Tama? Then, kung yung ating function values naman is increasing, so ibig sabihin yan na yung ating uh, function values is going to positive infinity. Okay, so paano ba tayo nagkakaroon ng infinite limit? So let's try our first example. Evaluate each of the following limits. So letter A, uh, evaluate the limit of 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the right. Okay, so para makuha natin yung limit ng ating uh, given is magko-construct tayo ng table of values. Tama? So, since yung x natin is approaches 3 from the right, so that means mag start tayo sa number greater than 3. Okay, so in my solution, nag-start ako by 4, then papunta tayo kay positive 3. Okay? So, dito guys, para makuha natin yung f of x, yung mga inassign natin na value ng x is isa-substitute natin dito sa ating uh, function. Okay? Dun sa 2 over x minus 3. So, for example, if x is equals to 4, so ilalagay natin si 4 dun sa ating variable. So, we have 2 over 4 minus 3. And that's 2 over 1 or equals to positive 2. Yan yung ating value ng f of x. Okay? Then, for 3.7, we have 2.85. For 3.1, we have 5. For 3.01, we have 20. Then, for 3.001, we have 200. Then, so on. Okay? So, dito guys, um, kung makapansin nyo, as x approaches 3 from the right, diba, habang lumalapit tayo kay 3, yung ating f of x is pataas ng pataas. Tama? Then, kung makapansin nyo, yung ating limit ay limitless. Okay? Yung, or yung ating uh, values ng f of x is ano, unbounded or without bounds. Okay? So, since pataas siya ng pataas, ibig sabihin, yung ating limit as x approaches um, 3 from the right is equals to positive infinity. Okay, so naiintindihan ba guys kung paano tayo nagkakaroon ng positive infinity? So, try naman natin yung letter B. Okay, kung saan, uh, evaluate the limit of 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the left. Okay, ibig sabihin, mag start tayo sa number less than 3. So, in my table, nag-start ako sa number 2. Then, as you can see, papunta tayo kay positive 3. Okay? So, ang inasign ko, we have 2, 2.1, 2.3, 2.6. Okay? Then, to get the value of f of x, ang gagawin nyo lang is isa-substitute nyo yung inasign yung value ng x dito sa ating function. Okay? So, say for example, ang ginamit ko dito is positive 2. So, try natin. We have 2 over 2 minus 3. Simplify natin to guys. That is 2 over negative 1. So, in our example, ang f of x natin is equals to negative 2. Okay? Then, gagawin nyo yan. For 2.1, we have negative 2.22. For 2.6, we have negative 5. 2.9, we have negative 20. 2.99, we have negative 200. Then, so on. So, as you can see guys, as x approaches 3 from the left, Diba? Yung ating f of x is decreasing and without bounds. 
Tama? Pababa siya ng pababa. Nag-start tayo by negative 2. Then napunta tayo kay negative 200, negative 2,000, negative 20,000. So habang dumadagdag yung ating 9 dito sa ating x, dumadagdag din yung 0 sa ating f of x. Tama? So that means na yung ating limits ng 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the left is equals to negative infinity. Naintindihan ba guys? Okay, so try naman natin ngayon yung letter C. So determine the limits of 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Dito, uh, gagamitin natin is yung from the left and from the right. So since na yung ating from the left na limits is not equal doon sa ating from the right, Diba? So, therefore, yung limit ng f of x as x approaches 3 does not exist. Tandaan niyo yung ating rule. Pag magkaiba, pag magkaiba yung limit ng from the left at from the right, ibig sabihin yung ating limit does not exist. Tama guys? Kasi yung from the left natin is negative infinity. Then yung ating from the right is positive infinity. Okay? So, ganyan lang ginagawa yung ating letter C. So, dito guys, uh, paano naman kung graph yung given? Okay? So, same yung ating function na given, which is 2 over x minus 3. Okay? So, paano ba siya naging positive infinity? So, as you can see dito sa ating graph, ito yung ating x equals 3. Tama? Meron tayong vertical asymptote dito. Ito yan guys. So, kung papansin ninyo yung graph, as x approaches 3 from the right, ito yung from the right, okay, habang papunta tayo na papunta kay 3, yung ating limits is papaangat papunta kay positive infinity. Nakuha? Then, as x approaches 3 from the left, ito yung from the left natin, Kung mapapansin nyo, habang papunta ng papunta, yung ating x papunta kay 3, yung ating graph is going to negative infinity. Okay, yun yung ating limit. So, since magkaiba yung kanilang direction, yung from the right natin is papunta kay positive infinity, yung from the left natin is papunta kay negative infinity, so therefore, the limit of 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3, does not exist. Okay? So, pag magkaiba ng direksyon, ibig sabihin, DNA kagad yung guys. Okay? So, let's try another example. So, consider the function defined by f of x is equals to 2 over the quantity of x minus 4 square. Then, we are asked to evaluate the limit of 2 over x minus 4 square as x approaches 4 from the left and from the right, then ano, bro, ano ro yung limit natin as x approaches 4? Okay, so try natin yung same procedure natin. First, we need to construct a table of values. Okay? Unahin natin this time yung ating as x approaches 4 from the left. So that means mag start tayo sa mga number less than 4. Okay, so in my example, nag-start ako by 2, then 3, papunta tayo kay positive 4. Tama? Then, as x approaches 4 from the left, makapansin nyo guys na yung ating f of x, okay, habang papunta tayo kay positive 4, yung values ng ating f of x is approaching positive infinity. Tama? Pataas siya ng pataas without bounds. Okay, so ito yung ating uh, limit as x approaches 4 from the left. Okay? Doon naman tayo sa from the right. So, ibig sabihin, yung values ng x natin, mag start tayo sa number greater than 4. Okay? So, that is 6, 5, then papunta tayo kay 4.0001. Okay? Okay? So, as x approaches 4 from the right, 
yung f of x natin, kung mapapansin nyo guys, is increasing din. Tama? Habang dumadami yung zeros natin sa x, pataas ng pataas yung ating f of x without bounds. Okay, ibig sabihin, papunta rin siya guys kay positive infinity. Okay, so it appears that the limit of 2 over x minus 4 square as x approaches 4 from the right is equals to positive infinity. Okay, so since parehas papunta kay positive infinity yung ating f of x, diba? kahit saan tayo magsimula, from the left or from the right, parehas silang going to positive infinity, ibig sabihin, yung limit ng ating 2 over x minus 4 square as x approaches 4 is also equals to positive infinity. Nakuha? So, tandaan, pag parehas ng limit yung from the left and from the right, ibig sabihin, meron tayong limits. Okay? So, it's either negative or positive infinity. So, ngayon, tignan natin yung kanyang graph. Okay, so, based dito sa ating graph, guys. So, yung the limit of 2 over x minus 4 square as x approaches 4 from the left. Okay, so, ito yung ating positive 4. So, as x approaches 4 from the left, mapapansin nyo na yung ating limits is papunta kay positive infinity. Tama? Then, as x approaches 4 from the right, ito yung from the right natin, yung ating limits o yung ating graph is going to positive infinity. Okay? So, therefore, yung limits ng ating uh, 2 over x minus 4 square as x approaches 4 is also positive infinity. Okay, kailan lang ba tayo nagkakaroon ng ano, the limits does not exist kapag ka-opposite yung direction. Okay, pagka yung isa positive, yung isa negative, ibig sabihin yung ating limits is does not exist. Okay, pag parehas, meron tayong infinite limits. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng infinite limits. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!